Standoff with Iran waged mostly on an economic battleground is quite a bit warmer tonight. That's because the weapons in the latest incident are real, as was the target, an unmanned U.S. predator surveillance craft. The incident was real, though the timing is perhaps, perhaps suspect. One week ago, six days before the U.S. election, National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin is following this breaking story from the Pentagon. At 4.50 a.m. on November 1st, just days before the U.S. presidential election, two Iranian Su-25 Frogfoot fighter jets like these intercepted and fired twice upon an unmanned, unarmed U.S. MQ-1 Predator drone over the Persian Gulf. It is the first time the Iranians have ever fired on a U.S. drone. The shots missed on both attempts, and Iran's fighter pilots briefly pursued the drone, which landed safely at an undisclosed location. The incident occurred over international waters approximately 16 nautical miles off the Iranian coastline. Our aircraft was never in Iranian airspace. It was always flying in international airspace. The internationally recognized uh, territorial limit is 12 nautical miles off the coast, and we never entered the 12 nautical mile limit. Asked whether the incident was an act of war, the Pentagon spokesman said he would not legally label it, adding the State Department had protested through the Swiss protective powers, which have represented the U.S. government in Tehran since the U.S. Embassy takeover in 1979. The United States has communicated to the Iranians that we will continue to conduct surveillance flights over international waters, over the Arabian Gulf, consistent with long-standing practice and our commitment to the security of the region. In December, a classified RQ-170 U.S. Sentinel drone crashed inside Iran after losing contact with its handlers while monitoring Iran's nuclear sites. The Iranians recovered it largely intact. The Pentagon did not at first disclose details of the more recent drone incident, citing its, quote, classified mission. Meantime, more rising tension is looming farther east with China as President Obama prepares for a second term. A new report suggests China is is just two years away from deploying nuclear ballistic missiles on its submarines, missiles with a 4,600-mile range. China recently unveiled a second sophisticated stealth fighter jet that industry experts say may have been developed with stolen U.S. technology. The Chinese J-31 stealth fighter has an air intake and wing dimension that is suspiciously similar to the American F-35 and a silhouette similar to Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor. Furthermore, U.S. Navy officials confirm a Russian nuclear-powered attack submarine was detected 300 miles off the east coast of the United States in late October. Russia's Navy commander announced earlier this year that on June 1st, Russian nuclear-powered subs would return to patrolling the world's oceans as they did during the Soviet times, Brett. Jennifer Griffin, live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you. We are learning tonight.